Welcome to the video for 4.3, More Trends in the Properties of Elements in Period 3. You need to look at textbook pages 77 to 79 to help with this. So our lesson objectives are to describe and explain the trend in atomic radius of the element sodium to argon, and describe the trend in first ionisation of the element sodium to argon, and then explain the trend in first ionisation of the element. So before we start, a lot of these ideas that we're covering in this video are ideas that we're revisiting from chapter one on atomic structure. So make sure that you understand everything that's in the atomic structure chapter before we start. Secondly, we are going to go through this quite quickly because, as I say, we have already covered most of this already in atomic structure. So I'm going to go over it quite quickly. So if you fail to understand it, then go back and look at the textbook or go back and look at atomic structure. So atomic radius, first of all. So atomic radius across a period, the nuclear charge is going to increase because you're adding an extra proton each time you go to a, a new element across in the row. So the nuclear charge increases and the electrons that you're adding are adding to the same shell. So there's no increase in shielding. So because the nuclear charge is increasing and there's no more shielding, this means there's going to be an increase in attraction between the outer electrons and nucleus. So because the outer electron and nucleus are more attracted to each other, therefore they're going to try and get closer to each other. So the atomic radius is going to decrease. So as you go across a period, the atomic radius decreases because of the increasing nuclear charge and the fact the electrons are being added to the same shell. If you go down a group, we can contrast this with going down a group. When you go down a group, the electrons are being added to a new shell which is further away. So the atomic radius is going to increase. Going down a group, the atomic radius is going to increase. Going across a period, the atomic radius is going to decrease. So all we need to worry about now is the ionization energy. So across a period, the nuclear charge increases, as we've already discussed. And we also said that the electrons are being added to the same shell. So there's no increase in shielding because the electrons are being added to the same shell. So overall, this means an increase in attraction between the outer electrons and the nucleus. So we've said that the atomic radius decreases. So because there's a greater attraction between the outer electrons and the nucleus, that means you're going to have to put in more energy to overcome that attraction. So the atomic radius decreases, but the ionization energy increases. So going across a period, the ionization energy increases because the nuclear charge has increased and you're being adding it, the electrons to the same shell, so there's no increase in shielding. We can contrast this with going down a group, because when we're going down a group, the nuclear charge also increases, but the electrons are being added to a new shell, which is further away. So when you go to a new period, so you're going down a group, as you go down each group, you're going into a new period, and that new period has a new shell. So each element's going to have a new shell, which is going to be further away. So the atomic radius has increased. So because it's in a new shell, not only is that new shell further away, which lessens the attraction between the electron and the nuclear charge, but you've now got an, an, another inner shell, which is going to shield the attraction between the positive nucleus and the outer electrons. So the atomic radius is going to increase as you go down the group, but the ionization energy is going to decrease, because although the nuclear charge has increased, the electrons are in a new shell, so they're further away, and you've got more shielding from the inner shell of the electrons. So here are our lesson objectives again, which were to describe and explain the trend in atomic radius of the element sodium to argon, and describe the trend in first ionization energy of the element sodium to argon, and then explain the trend in first ionization energy. So as usual, make sure you go back over this video, or look at the textbook if you don't understand those lesson objectives, so that you're ready for the lesson.